Right guys, Gaft is back with the explanation to the torn, restored, not colour change card trick you listened yesterday. You are going to need a few things. This is the Gaft Academy after all. So you are going to need a top of the box gaff to steal away the actual card you're going to rip up in a minute. So you're going to want one of those. You will need a card matching the card you're going to force on a different coloured back. And you're also going to need to already rip off this corner. Trying to rip it off the same as this one. They won't see this card for long, so you'll probably get away with it. Camera's unforgiving so they can rewind it. And what I've done, I've got my, wherever it is. Oh, where's that gone? Seem to have lost it. I've got some restickable glue stick. Somewhere. Two seconds. Where's my restickable glue stick gone? Yeah. God, this is the Gaff Academy after all. So we need some of this. This is a Scotch restickable glue stick. I've got a little piece on the back of this card so it will stay in position but it's not too difficult to release, but it will stay there because this card is going to be on the top of the deck like this and you don't want this piece sliding around and falling at the deck. So that's why I've got a little bit of restickable glue and this is a different coloured back. I have then got my top of the box gaff covering everything up and then I've got my fourth card, the eight of spades on top of that. That's all going to go into the box and you're good to go. Right, let me just show you something crazy. You're going to love this. Take it all out, making sure you don't have a little bit showing here. In the real world, you'll probably get away with these, these little things on camera. It's unforgiving. Close the box up and put it aside. Easy to pick up, you know. And you're just going to force this top card. You can force this top card however you like. You could do a cut deeper force. We're going to find the first face down card we come to. Because you've got a gaff card here and there is um, edges and things and this isn't so smooth, you can probably not worry about flashing. Let's have a look. So we're going to go the first, see it doesn't really flash. Face down card we come to, make sure you put these on the bottom. So now you know this is your top of the box gaff and your gimmick underneath. Set these aside and show them the eight. Now you are going to want to fold the corner here so you just need to roughly get it what like what you've got it. This isn't going to be seen for very long. So you're probably going to get away with this. Fold it over nice and tight and then rip off the end. They will see all this happening. You're going to place this card on top. Place this piece right here. And say you're going to show them a piece of magic. This is a torn and restored type of card trick. You're going to wave the box over and as you wave, you're going to attract the, the gaff. So you will steal this card. You can give it a little bit of a wave look. They will still see the eight of spades. Ah, oh, hasn't quite worked. You can slide this piece off, look nice and easy. Wasn't, didn't quite work, did it? But when I say this was a torn and restored, it wasn't a torn and restored. It was a torn colour change. So that's the kicker at the end, guys. They think the trick has failed, but in fact, what? This was blue. What the hell? So that's how I did it, guys, because the top of the box will steal the original card and the original piece. Like I've said before, this gaff gives you endless possibilities. I will even show you something I showed somebody at work. You're going to have to bear with me now, though, because... Um, Oh, let's use this card. Can I use that card? Yeah, I could you? What you're going to do, you're going to have a card like this. And you're going to fold it nice and tight. Right, I haven't got another three of diamonds in here, but I'll use the three of hearts for argument's sake. So I've got this card on the top of the box like this with this corner folded down. I've then got my top of the box gaff covering everything up and then I'm going to force this 
um, three of hearts. Now I did this to a site agent at work. So you've got this prepared like this. You've got your gaff. Right, I just forced this card. I said, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold over the end, but just remembering, it needs to be round this way. I'm just gonna fold over the end like this. And we're gonna rip off this corner. Just like this. I'm going to place this card back on top of the deck and we'll place this piece just here, look. So you can see it. Watch, as I wave the box over, something crazy happens. It almost looks like it's reattached. What the hell? That's just another idea for you guys. I showed this to a site agent. It was a torn and restored effect. That's where the first one came from. It gave me the idea to do the colour change. But I actually did this at work and he was like, what the hell? Because they can, they can examine these cards. You flash the bottom of the box, there's nothing to see. So comment, subscribe, like guys, and there are two ideas, two ideas for you. Like I said, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe guys, hit notifications and maybe send me a comment. Cheers.